Hello, my name is Jorge Pedret, and I'm recording this video to share about the mysteries that hold this world. There is greater forces that are at play more than what we like to acknowledge and more than what is generally acknowledged in, in society, in the world where we live in. Right now, here in this space, there is different forces at play that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Do you know what I'm talking about? These forces, they are around us all the time and we have been interacting with these forces for as long as we know. Perhaps these forces are even way older than, than we, than humanity. And we have been living in interaction with these forces for a very long time. Right now, the world where we live in is essentially blind to these forces and doesn't really have access or a, a consistent description to what these forces are and how we interact with them and how they affect us and how they work with us. In mainstream culture, this culture where there is no clarity about the culture where you're in and where it's just the, the culture of consumption, the culture of going to school, uh, graduating, going to university, graduating, getting a job, doing good at your job, f writing your book, uh, getting married, having a family, and then retiring. This linear plan that was set up for, for you to, to step into Inside of that plan, there is no acknowledgement. There is no work within about these forces that are unseen and that are around us all the time. Yeah, some people call it like negative forces. Negative forces. Oh, there is the positive forces and negative forces. And, and there is also in in church or Christianity, there is a good and evil, this big battle between good and evil and between these two forces that are opposing each other. And it's essentially like a, a child's view of the world is so primitive and is so basic and, and essentially immature that it leaves space for a lot of unclarity and a lot of, in a way, like being ruled, being completely ruled by these forces. And, and in a world where you have access to these forces, where you can touch in, you can get in touch with these forces and and start sensing them and start interacting with them, noticing them and actually communicating with them. You can experience this if, if you ever taken medicinal plants that are um, called hallucinogenics, medicine plants, or you have had dreams, perhaps you, you've had dreams where you've seen these forces out there and you've had communication with them. People that have had near death experiences they account for, for these forces that are out there. People that have worked with uh, human potential, with the human potential of what you are capable of, they keep seeing these different forces that, uh, that the being is jacked into. And so they get to see how some, sometimes the, the human can make a, a commitment to, to create something. And then that, that commitment gets broken. That commitment gets, uh, it changes and um, it gets like sabotaged, 
this like called self-sabotage. Where does all this self-sabotage come from? Where are all of these forces that are coming in your way? Universal forces and also other type of forces that that are that are very real and in a way what I'm bringing up here in this video is that we don't have as a culture a language to communicate about these different forces. In essence, you, you have a, like if you're living in, a, in the culture of, of Christ or the culture of Christianity or, or going to church, they have their language of communicating about some of these things. Right, they have they have the different language, demons. They have Satan. They have uh, the devil, uh, shadows, whatever these these forces. And and inside of that particular group, there is also um, like a moral stand or a choosing of sides. Uh, that that one side is is away is not good is bad and it should be killed rejected cast away cast out and the other side should be embraced and should be um, glorified and should be amplified and and each community of practice they have their different way of of working with these forces and the thing with mainstream culture is like there there is no distinction it's just me and I against the world so you get this huge symptoms of depression um, confusion isolation loneliness and and even like to the to the more uh, bigger cases of bigger like psychosis and and these people like like mass murders and stuff like that 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 I, is a way of generalizing but in mainstream culture there is not a clear distinction of these forces essentially we live the world as if is according to the box that we created the, the the world is as it is you are born you you live then you get old you get sick and you die that's it and some people may say oh god is the all powerful or you have like this like very general and and at the same time it's like these things, these forces are around us all the time. All the time we're surrounded by these forces. And there is some specific forces that come, that are attached to, to each being. That are specific to each being. And these forces are, are not even talked about. Uh, they're not even like brought it into the surface. So... A human being is living their whole life in main call in mainstream culture, living their whole life without knowing that there is this shadow figure, this um, force that is attached to them and interacting with them and working through them and with them, uh, and there is not even an acknowledgement of that. And this this is bizarre to me. This is insane. This is blindness. Completely like like societal, cultural blindness. And my suspicion is that it, it has a purpose. That it has a very clear purpose of domination. A purpose of exploitation. If, if you can live your life without seeing this force that is continuously manipulating you and creating your life then there is a, a benefit they can get these forces they can get their food anytime they want imagine that you could just go into the forest and you will be completely invisible and you could uh, catch a deer you could like kill a deer or even even bigger imagine that you're so powerful that you could get all of these animals 
and put them inside of a cage or inside of a, a field where they get to feed, you get to feed them and give them water and reproduce them and consume them and eat them. So you get like to these, these places where what is the power of a chicken against uh, a farmer? So you get to this place of clarity that we are in a farm. And I'm not the first one to talk about this, that we are in a farm. This has been spoken in the 1984 Carson Orwell, Orwell's book. I can't remember exactly his name. And he, he describes this. And the book is so popular because we all know this intuitively we all know that we are living in a farm where we are being farmed and we have very little say in how it goes in our life and in the book in that book the animals go on to create their own revolution and honestly i haven't read it i have heard the talk about it and the sub, uh, abstracts of it and what happens is that the animals themselves, after they take over, essentially they create the same thing. So they become the farmers themselves. So there is a, it's touching on a, a point of reality that we are all connected with. And we talk about this in our mainstream culture as if it's something theoretical, as if it's something that. <clears throat> that is out there that is something that is happening in the government it's happening in the country or in the in the office buildings but the reality is that it's happening inside this thing that is getting dominating and is um enslaving humanity is inside and is in in each in each one and there, there is no common language. It's essentially like up to the individual. Some people get it. Some people say like, yeah, I'm not alone. My decisions and my thoughts and my behaviors are not only mine. I am being influenced by something. There is something that is influencing me. There is something that is feeding from me. There is something that is um, railing me like putting me in this between these two rails for this place where I can go you can vote for this president or you can vote for this president you can have eggs and toast or you can have oatmeal and and my purpose for making this video is to expand that to really start the conversation to expand that that is a very poor life is a very blind life if you're living in life where you are alone and where you are blind to these forces that are right here with you right here you can connect with those forces and you can talk to those forces and of course because of of the blindness and of the habitual and of the the ma the mainstream narrative that we can't see them they will continue that narrative they will do everything, and I'm talking about these forces. These forces will do anything to continue the narrative. We are invisible. You are crazy. Um, you can't see us. You can't prove that we are here. Uh, you are an idiot, or you are lost your mind. You are uh, fucking insane. So it, it creates like this, this place of like, you can sense them. You know they're there. But inside of your thoughts, your mind, you're hearing this shit about yourself. This hearing this shit that this shit that sounds like yourself, that feels like yourself, that is inside of yourself, and <clears throat> eventually we start internalizing this. You start internalizing it, and and uh, you start losing the the clarity between those forces and your own being. And this is terrifying. And this is also the, the normal thing. This is being normal, I don't know, for how long. And 
there is also been subcultures or not subcultures there have been cultures where this is in the middle of the table this is like these forces are not dancing around uh doing their thing without knowing these forces are really in the center and their forces are uh in the center of the conversation i mean and 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 what I want to bring awareness is that mainstream culture doesn't have that clarity. So mainstream culture is propense, is uh, available for being exploited and manipulated by these external forces. And I even suspect that mainstream culture is created by these forces. Mainstream culture is created. That's one, what makes sense to me because it doesn't make sense all of the shit that we are doing uh, in our mainstream culture like the consumption of uh, of the trees in, uh, all over the planet the colonization of different cultures and the uh, the massive extinction of different cultures uh the the pollution of the ocean not just pollution but the exploitation of the oceans and the the rape that is happening all over the world of mother nature and of mothers of women of men of children is fucking nonsense and the only thing that made sense to me is that these forces are in charge of creating mainstream culture And it makes sense to me because that, that's what they will benefit from. These forces will benefit from us being blind to them, from us not being able to see them. So what they will do, they will try to eradicate all of the cultures that have that clarity and that have that clarity to see them, like shamanism cultures. Shamans were able to, to sense inside of them their energy and their being and their alignment with the different entities that they are in contact with. So they... A lot of shamans, they will have the clarity of these forces when these forces are interacting with them. So these forces, they will benefit from creating this culture where the diversity goes down, uh, the climate of the, of the planet changes, uh, the, the energy of their hosts also changes and is diminished. So by diminishing the, the and I'm saying that, that we humans are their hosts. This is why they're attached, they're attached to us. So, so they benefit from our energy being low because they can keep sucking, sucking, sucking our life energy, eating up, and also they can manipulate us to fulfill their own agenda. Right? So we have these species these forces that are, are a living species, a conscious species that we can't see is not in the material world, is the, in the energetic world and that they are around us, they're around you, they are sucking your energy and they are parasitical entities that are eating up from your energy and it changes like they're not all the same, it's not all the same like everything there is like different colors, different shades of gray and and very and they're also like part of life these things are part of life so i'm not saying this to say that they're wrong and this is bad and that they're doing evil stuff i'm not saying any of that i'm saying that it makes sense that these forces will be behind the creation of the mainstream culture and the mainstream culture is essentially a culture that eats away at other cultures that have more power and clarity to to see them because once we see them we cannot be exploited by them once we once you pinpoint once you have the, your clarity of of what and who you are and what these other forces are then you have the clarity and they ca you cannot be exploited it's like somebody's lying to your face like dude you're telling the same lie again i don't believe you i don't want to work with you like that i'm not this is not the game that i'm playing so you have that clarity and so that it will be on their benefit to create a culture where there is no clarity where there is confusion and this has been happening this is a strategy that they've been doing for thousands and thousands of years
uh, of using humans as a crop. And it has been a degeneration of humanity where they have been gaining more and more and more power, essentially like a, like a parasitical species or yeah, like just like a species that has this big power uh, over over our species and it starts gaining power just like a like an invasive plant when you get an invasive plant and it starts reproducing because it has this uh, evolutive advantage to climb on the trees and and essentially take over and this is what's happening this species uh, is taking over yeah and it's like spreading all over with all the pavement cutting of the trees uh, exploitation of the oceans uh, killing of the, the cultures that have clarity about what their agenda is and who they are and how they interact with us. Because this is very important, how they interact with us, how each one of us has one of those beings, or one of those uh, species that essentially uh, works in that, in that realm. So what, what is possible, I want to pause here for a moment because I am in this culture. I was born into this culture. I was born into the culture of mainstream, going to school, getting, being a good boy, being a, following the rules, being obedient, um, doing the homework, finding a girlfriend. Uh, going uh, going to school and like university finding a job making money being good to my parents being good to my family and and all of these ideas that we have that are apparently like amazing this is like what is glorified in mainstream culture these things of this pathway that is set set for you and essentially this being obedient, numbing down your, your life force because you are too much, your feelings are too much, so you have to put yourself down because you are too much, essentially. And, <clears throat> and the pause that I want to take is to acknowledge that I am in the middle of that culture. This culture is like all, all around me. Uh, I look at the neighbor's house and they are in that culture. I look at the other neighbor's house and they are in that culture, apparently. This is why it's a mainstream culture because it's like the most of people are in that culture. And I, the reason why I'm talking about culture is because that's where it starts. This is where it's starting in having given away our capacity to create our culture having given away our ancestral culture the culture where we came from this culture it, it's the the process of killing other cultures and i heard i even heard a speaker ian mckenzie ca categorizing mainstream culture not as a culture which makes sense to me not as a culture but as an anti-culture an anti-culture that is devouring all the other cultures. It's an anti-culture because it takes the cultures that are existing, that are so rich, colorful, in, in traditions, in different things, in different uh, ways of living and relating with the world, and is consuming them and is leaving only the shell so that they can exploit it, and then they can copy it, and then they can sell it and profit from it. and. It's essentially this culture that is consuming the, the world. And this is where it's starting. That our beautiful planet, our aliveness, our intelligence, our, your evolution, your evolutionary journey, your, your life, the life of your children and of the future children of this world of human beings is being consumed by this currently parasitical uh, being or species that is uh, amassing human beings into farms so that they can consume them and use them as a sustainable 
a source of food for themselves. And this they get by making us docile, by making us easy to manipulate, controllable, by making us confused, by making us by isolating us. So all of these symptoms that we are experiencing in the world, climate change, narcissism, isolation, this deprivation of our sexuality, our emotional repression, the abuse that is happening at homes, the division of the nuclear families, the division of communities, and all of this stuff is based on the culture. Like we're really starting at that cultural basis and at the pain that our culture has been taking away and has been replaced with this shell, with this shed and shell of culture which is not a culture, it's an anti-culture. So if there is one thing that you will take from this video and from what I'm sharing here is to reclaim your capacity and your power to create your own culture. You can do this with a snap of your fingers. And at first it's not that easy because we come from from that culture that has indoctrinated you to only see this much of the world and not be able to sense the, the things that are influencing you in the moment. And there is something beautiful about this. There is something empowering and ecstatic about reclaiming your power to create your own culture. And it starts with the, with the click of your fingers. You can start it right there by starting to reclaim your power from giving it away to something else outside of you. You're reclaiming first your power to create your own culture. Power to create my own culture. Come back to me. All back inside of you. Now you have that power to create your own culture and you're not delegating that to an external source that is very likely creating and perpetuating and giving life to this anti-culture. And this is very, very hard to see and it can trigger a lot of people and, and people can get angry about this and like, oh, how can you be saying that? Like, you're not a, a God believer. You don't believe in God. You don't, you, don't, you don't know how you think you're so omnipotent that, that you can create culture. And yes, you can create culture. And I, I invite you for this exploration. This really this exploration that one of the characteristics of mainstream culture, this, when I say mainstream culture, is this culture that is consuming the, the, the world as it is, consuming the life of the planet at the fastest rate possible. One of the characteristics of that culture is the giving away of your responsibility. This is the key. If you if you see that, you're gonna see this is that culture. Is is embraced? Is uh, is actually like something that is promoted. You are promoted. You are better if you are giving away your responsibility. If you are a victim, or if you are a rescuer, or if you are a persecutor, you are. You are encouraged to be all of these things. These are the good things. That you're a big team. Oh, I feel, I feel like, like bad. I feel uh, like there's nothing I can do. I don't have a choice. Life is as it is. Uh, it's just the way it is. This is all big team, big team stuffs, and it, uh, and it's characteristic of mainstream culture, of the the origin of mainstream culture. So whenever you find yourself giving your own authority to, to something else, giving your responsibility to something else, notice, catch yourself and why are you doing that? And, and some of the things that I hear from like this, um, some of the arguments that I hear from Catholics, from Catholicism, people that practice Christianity, is that they give all of their responsibility to God. They give all of their authority to God. God has my responsibility. I'm nothing. I, God has my responsibility. God has my choice. 
and I have no choice. And there is a, I want to like, even like even slow down even more here so that we can navigate this space more carefully and like really take these baby steps because there is really not, I, this is not coming as an attack for, for anybody. This is more like walking this pathway where we're in right now in our society level and walking these paths of of where we are of so that we can bring clarity and the mainstream culture if you are committed to mainstream culture you will have resistance to doing this you will have resistance to gaining clarity you will have resistance for anything to change and these thoughts and ideas will come like everything is as it is like why are you banging your head against this uh, what is there to discover God is all it's just love and light it's that simple uh, and there is this like ways of it's like shutting this down so that things don't change and so that you can continue doing the same thing and and the thing is that there is no evolution in that if you're finding resistance in in talking about your culture the culture that you are creating the culture that you're giving life to how you are using your 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 attention your responsibility your time on earth uh your resources uh then there is likely pointing to your commitment to the to the agenda of these parasitical beings which has been perpetuated for thousands and thousands of years so this is not something just from the last few years this has been going on and we have been more manipulated or more getting more into more like a like like a hydroponic lettuce we have we are being turned into hydroponic lettuce if you compare a lettuce the a wild lettuce from 500 years ago to a lettuce right now a hydroponic lettuce is so frail like the the hydroponic lettuce is like it, it breaks it's so crispy and it's so yummy to eat too and and at the same time is that's been the degradation that that we have been in the wild we have been like growing up in the wild in touch with these uh, forces of nature like the cold, the sun, the heat, the, the, the snow, the rain, the light, the darkness. We have been like in touch with those. And through this process of, of domestication, it has been more, 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 more into jailing, 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 more uh, feeding uh, these specific nutrients uh, and then cutting off these other nutrients. Uh, that make us make us too strong or makes us not taste so good and then we are made into essentially like a like a crispy chicken something like a like a lettuce like a hydroponic lettuce that is not for the benefit of the lettuce but it is for the benefit of that thing that is consuming it so we're not going in our natural evolutionary path but we are being sucked massively and systematically out of our energy out of our will out of our consciousness and awareness and our capacity to continue on that evolutionary journey and this is the fight this is the struggle this is the where it's at that you as a human being are facing these forces that are sucking and trying to suck your energy on every step of the corner when you watch the tv when you uh, drive your car, when you get your, get, buy a house, when you get a new job, when you wake up in the morning, when you pay your taxes, all of these things, when you read the Bible, when you like all of these fucking things, they are trying to suck your aliveness and trying to leave you into this uh, shell of a, a good boy or a good girl that really is not the full of your being and you can sense this you can like sense how wild you really are and how uh, powerful you are from your ancestors think of your ancestors like if you see the chain and the the link of ancestors that have 
gone before you for you to be here in this moment you can see the the change the progression and how how it's been and and the 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 kind of human being that is being grown these days which is very much like a hydroponic lettuce So in this, I'm not intending to criticize anybody and I'm just walking these baby steps inside of this culture where I was born in, this culture where I'm immersed in right now. I take a step out of this door and, and I'm in mainstream culture. I go to the grocery store and I'm in mainstream culture. I go to, um, I go to work and I'm in mainstream culture. So what I what are how is it that we are being sucked in how is it that we are powering we are choosing we are choosing to give life to this culture which i'm calling now anti-culture how is it that we are giving life to this anti-culture that is killing ourselves how is that possible how is it possible that that we are treating that as a normal thing that people just go to work and and it's the normal thing like holy shit like and and it's like putting having one feet on one side and one feet on the other like i am in mainstream culture i i have a vehicle i use gas i i go to the grocery store to get my food i i use money to pay for my rent i use my time to get money and then on the other foot is this question this quest that i have of creating my own culture of taking a stand for my own culture for the culture an actual culture that is not in interest in consuming other cultures and in sucking the life out of the planet and out of other people including your own but that it's a it's a culture that gives life and that receives life and that is alive and it's a culture that it stands for clarity it stands for evolution it stands for re regeneration it stands for for love for communication for community and and really like being in the pain right now i'm in the pain of being in those two worlds and that I, i'm i'm sharing this message to pass on that pain to share that pain that our oceans are getting depleted of fish three quarters of the population of all of the animals have been eradicated in the last 50 to 100 years so if we keep going at this rate where like where is it gonna go how is it gonna end where is it going why why are we doing this and you, some of you were born into these times right now, into this world, into that body that you have to say something about this and to do something about this. You know it and you're standing here. Otherwise, you will not be listening to this. If somebody is not born here for this, they will not be here. They will be back into their commitment to sustaining mainstream culture. But you are here and you are listening to this. So if you want possibilities about what is what is next, okay, what, what can I do about this? It's, the first thing is create that line between mainstream culture and your culture. Create that line where you have the clarity of what is happening out there and what, what is it, how does it go inside of you? Because it is... Anything, anything else will be living a life of nothing or living a life of like half life where you're not really here, where you're not really like bringing in your being into this place. So if you care for your life and for the life of your children, for the life of the future generations, you care for your continuation of your life for you saying yes i i want to be here i am worthy i am valuable 
I have something to bring to this world. I am powerful. Then life opens up that for you and it gives you, it starts feeding you with resources and other forces start coming into your aid for sharing messages like this, for saying something, for coming into saying like, I have something to say about this. And, and these forces will start feeding you and giving you energy and, and helping you in your journey to take a stand uh, against the other forces that are sucking the life out of you and that are essentially interested in consuming, consuming, consuming until you are nothing. Until you're all gone, until you are a, a nothing. So, I'm gonna leave with, with this message of creating your own culture, and it starts with you clicking your fingers. That interruption of the sound space is powerful, and you can choose that, you can create that. That is fire, that is a spark, and that is the ignition. That's how you cavitate a new space where a different culture is possible you can start like cavitating clapping and creating a disruption in the space for the culture that you want to take a stand for and you are not the only one there's this is a culture that has been emerging many different cultures all over the world all happening at once of this culture of new earth people emerging and these new earth people is that we're coming with different values than the mainstream culture. We value love, we value connection, we value authenticity, relating, communication. This is very different, a culture that emerges from those values than a, cor a culture that emerges from competition, greediness, jealousy, revenge blaming victimhood right you you see in the pattern you see in where where that culture is coming from and this is decided the, the values that are uh, they, they are prized they are uh, rewarded in in mainstream culture if you're a great competitor you'll be really easy to climb up the hierarchy to be at the top so that others are at the bottom so you can consume the energy of the people at the bottom. You can be the best. You can be superior to, to the others. Superiority, inferiority, good and bad. This is all part of mainstream culture. And when you create that line between your culture and mainstream culture, you start gaining access to different possibilities and different access to something else that you can do in the world and a different stand how you can show up in the world and how also how you can bring in this is the biggest part that you can bring in people from mainstream culture that are stuck in mainstream culture that uh, in their their own bubble of, of being in those values living a life in complete disagreement with their own values because who who wants to live a life where it's all about betraying being betrayed or live a life where it's all about competing, uh, it's all about uh, blaming the other. That's huge. Where, who wants to live in a, li in a life, in a, in a f life that is all about guilt, feeling guilty about what you do, about every move that you make, about every chocolate that you eat, about every time that you, that you take something for yourself? Who wants to live in a life where you're like being pointed as wrong? You are wrong. You are wrong. Or the, or the other side, like, you are right. Like, this is all part of the, the same, that mainstream culture. And when you start seeing these values that are alive in the space, then you can start seeing what culture is happening here in this space. And, and to start getting a clarity about the, the, the things that you value, the things that are valuable for you, your principles, integrity, Communication, love, authenticity, aliveness, community. Yes! These are things that, that really feed the space in a different way. And they are feeding the space. They're not consuming and sucking the space out of energy. So there is a start getting that distinction, cultural distinction between 
these two these two parts your aliveness I, that's a big one if your aliveness is being dimmed down and you, you you're playing small you can't be big you're afraid of being big you have a lot of resistance of using your voice in loud ways or saying something it's very likely that you're originating you are sourcing mainstream culture you are sourcing anti-culture you are sourcing consumption exploitation enslavement superiority and i could go on about this and you can start getting the distinctions between those two and these things that you value and that are for you that are good for you are in innate to you they are really innate and all of these other things they come after after you are born into this world you start uh, uh, acquiring all of these things like this belief that i'm i'm stupid no baby is born with that belief no baby is born saying i'm stupid all the babies no i don't know if all the babies but babies are born in this like pristine state this new new slate and and uh, and and it's all of these things that we start acquiring in this space that that start like cluttering this this thing that is really part of our being part of aliveness part of your aliveness so the other part that i want to bring in just before i, I close this space is that there is a very natural progression to all of this and <clears throat> And there is also a pain point that we are reaching of being chickens in a farm and being really fucking done with it. Really being done with it. And and starting to, to see, well, that there is an evolutionary process that is going on. And that it is great to, instead of jumping right in into, that's wrong, mainstream culture is wrong, patriarchy is wrong capitalism is wrong instead of jumping in into that place of judgment and criticizing let's walk this path looking to get clarity instead of looking to 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 accuse the other or to to say that the other is wrong is let's look this word let's start walking this path with clarity with the clarity of what is mainstream culture doing? What is it that we are giving life to with our money, with our time, with our attention, with your your purpose? So this is a like a personal research of starting to bring that closer and closer to you so that you can start walking this path more, uh, fl not flawlessly, but more uh, authentically and more uh, carefully instead of wanting to kill that because that that thing doesn't need to be killed it's working mainstream culture is working as it was intended and i my suspicion is that it is designed by these other species to consume us like animals to make us turn us into a hydroponic uh, let us essentially we are weak where we're easy to be dominated where we are not big where we are hidden in our own house in our own cars uh, where we are not wanting to be seen by others and and starting to to walk that that step and to really take that stand of having one food in in mainstream where you are coming from uh, where you were born and the other food in what is possible and then more and more and more you'll be able to boom put two feet inside of the culture that you are creating you can put two feet inside of the culture that you are taking a stand for for the, the things that you value and you can bring in those values to the world from that place where you're standing and if you don't have that possibility, both of your feet will be in main co mainstream culture and you'll be wondering your whole life, why the hell are things going like this? Am I the only one that is thinking this way? Am I the only one that sees this thing? Complain, blame the others, be a victim of the world, um, take revenge on yourself and on, on others, create resentment, create expectations, and, and you'll, you won't have that, that gap that step that you can take into the other side for getting clarity about 
what you are capable of. So thank you for watching this. And there is so much more. I'm going to leave some resources about what I've been talking about. And these are resources where you can really connect with a community uh, where this is alive and this is a research and this is the the space that is being created and is hundreds of people uh, all over the world and even bigger than this because this is like the cultural creatives is millions of people all over the world that are awakening and are really uh, taking a stand for the, what they value they're finding their values and they're taking a stand for that and they're creating value from from that so this is like millions of people and the, the, I'm going to leave you with some links of some different uh, communities of practices that where you can get more information about this, where you can bring in your research, where you can ask questions and where you can read more about what I've been talking about and get more clarity. Um, just to give you a few examples, there is uh, the, the lineage of the Toltecs which is a, an ancient lineage that said to be a traveler, traveling artist that traveled all over the Americas and perhaps even before that from Asia. Uh, they were travelers and they will travel and share their arts with the different civilizations, the different communities that they found along the way. And the Toltecs uh, have passed on their language and their community, their culture down generation after generation after generation up to today you can see and have access to toltec uh, uh, toltec knowledge from thousands and th thousands of years ago and and in this um yeah in these lineages in these knowledges you will find references to these things that i've been talking about that are uh, that are spoken in the or Orwell's book in 1984, or the Animal Farm, in Carlos Castaneda. If you have read Carlos Castaneda, it's an awesome series of book, awesome writer that I also recommend. Uh, you will also see this uh, these patterns uh, of what I'm talking about of these forces that are uh, interacting in the world nowadays. You will see references to this and very specific things that that will shake your reality and that will shake the reality and you start like getting a, a gap inside of this other world, these other forces that are constantly at play and constantly influencing us. So I will leave a link for some of these things down in the video below. And if you have any questions about this, uh, reach out to me. Uh, there is uh, different spaces where are specific for discovering your lifelong companion, which is this uh, force that comes with you when you are born and is essentially not a parasite, but it is a, a predator. It is the part of the species that is consuming the, the life of the human being. So there is these spaces where you can get to really enter into connection with how that that thing how that that being is consuming your life and manipulating your life and essentially feeding on your life force and and helping you to stay committed to the mainstream culture where nothing changes and where it's like just for their benefit and it's not for the benefit of the humanity or for the all of the life in 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 the, in the world like the the oceans the animals in the oceans the trees the oxygen from the trees the fish the the deer all of these animals that are really um part of the, what it is to be human and so there is these spaces with specific trainers that have been doing this for, for years that can uh, activate that process for you to see your own uh, connection and relation with this being. And it's really out of this world. It's out of the mainstream culture world, but it's really of this world. And it's really relevant and it's really a, an empowering experience that will take you into this like essentially a tornado out of Kansas into the sky and then like crashing into a magic magic 
magic world where you are more sensitive, more in touch with these different forces uh, that are always at play. So thank you again for watching this and really like massive respect for really sticking around for getting the, the full download of this. Uh, I encourage you to, to keep going on this journey, to reach out, uh, don't fall into the isolation uh, pattern behavior and like go reach out for others, share your research, start your research, continue your research. And all of these things that you got to share they are gold for, for the world. They really is this gold that uh, starts reproducing and becoming bigger. So thank you again for watching. My name is Jorge Pedret and I'll see you again next time. Blessings.